well, it's a real pleasure to be here. Um, the usual crowd I talk to, um, I have to explain what signal processing is and um, what hardware is all about, but um, I guess I don't need to do that here. Um, but I'll talk about hardware, of course. Um, so I'm going to talk about uh, convolutional nets, and uh, I'm going to start by saying that computer vision is going through a bit of a revolution uh, because of the emergence of techniques like convolutional nets over the last, the last few years. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of this, about um, the techniques that are, that are used, and uh, about the consequences for hardware. And I'll tell you right away, the consequences are great because it makes hardware a lot simpler. Um, so a lot of the complications of implementing, that come with implementing computer vision systems in hardware before um, are greatly simplified if you, if you use convolutional nets. Um, right, so I wear two hats, one uh, director of AI research at Facebook and the other one I'm uh, the uh, uh, former founding director of the Center for Data Science at NYU which, uh, whose purpose is to um, uh, essentially uh, promote data science, the extraction of knowledge from data, semi-automatic extraction of knowledge from data um, as an uh, academic discipline. And, and so this has to do with big data, et cetera. Uh, but I stepped down as director of the center uh, when I joined Facebook, I'm still a member of it. Okay, so let me start with a little bit of engineering. So the classical way of doing computer vision, or pattern recognition for that matter, um, is to start by um, building a feature extractor that turns the raw data into an appropriate form, and then uh, most of the time, stick a classifier on top of it that's trained to uh, say, recognize, classify images from you know, one class or another. And this model dates from the late 50s, back with in the days of the perceptron. At the bottom here, you have the original computer vision hardware, uh, the original perceptron from 1957 or so, 58. Um, so on the left panel, you have the camera. On the middle panel, you have the feature extractor, which looks like a spaghetti plate. Um, it's actually a randomly connected set of uh, wires that connect random sets, subsets of pixels to, to uh, a feature ex extractor that are threshold elements, ex essentially. Uh, we don't have spaghetti plates in your hardware anymore. We just have spaghetti, spaghetti code in our software. Um, and then on the, on the right panel, you see um, the classifier. Each of those modules that you can identify is actually a, a physical weight that is adjusted for a linear classifier, perceptron. Um, so we've made a lot of progress with hardware in the last few decades, fortunately. And, um, but the basic principle of uh, pattern recognition hasn't changed until very recently. Mm -hmm.